morning from Dallas, Texas this morning. It is about to be a full day of intuitive eating as I have been doing for the past almost whole month. So happy, so excited. So I'm gonna show you guys what I would eat in a day, how I've kind of transitioned into this and talk to you about whether or not I think I'm gonna be able to sustain this and just kind of how I'm going about it. But first, we are about to hit shoulders. Got a solid little workout in there. It was like 30, 40 minutes. Like you saw, I did front delts, side delts, rear delts. So that was kind of the pairing system that I had for that workout. So it was really quick, really efficient. Now I'm gonna head home. I have calls starting in an hour, so I'm gonna see if I can sneak a meal in real quick, but you guys will see. All right guys, so I am home. I just ate my breakfast. The way I go about this, first of all, is I just kind of have whatever I'm in the mood for. I'm so used to eating just what my body needs. Over the past three years, just I kind of have an idea. I don't always crave pancakes. I don't always crave eggs. So I just try to kind of go with the flow on what I'm in the mood for. This morning I was really in the mood for like a voluminous breakfast with something sweet and something really salty. So what I made is first of all, I sauteed some veggies just with cooking spray. And then I added my egg whites to it. I did about four ounces. Pro tip, if you're pouring egg whites, if you count one, two, three, four, that will be about four ounces of egg whites, even if you're pulling, uh, pouring it as fast as you can. For my sweet component, I made some, well I didn't make it, but I had some yogurt and I mixed some super fruits into it. This brand is so, so good. All of their different products are delicious, which is very rare for greens products. I put strawberries and, and I put a packet of Truvia because it was just plain Greek yogurt. Then I put a little bit of whipped cream and on top and peanut butter in it. When I finished everything, I put ketchup and a little bit of soy sauce, which you guys didn't see, but I put a little bit of soy sauce. I put smokehouse maple seasoning on it. I think that was all I put on it. I feel like there's, oh, and I put like a little spray butter or something like that on there. That was delicious. So highly recommend and it satisfied me. And then after having the sweet component, I was pretty full. So I finished both of those off and now we're here. So now I'm folding laundry and I'm gonna start getting ready for the day. We're here for another week in Dallas. So I am gonna set up our last week's schedule, well my last week's schedule with Christy, and kind of just get ready for the week. So I'm gonna do lots of journaling, reflecting. I had a call with a client, which went fabulous. I'll let you guys know when I eat again, because that's kind of how I'm doing it. I just eat a big meal until I'm full, and then I eat again when I'm hungry. Magic, right? So I'll see you guys for meal. On to the next snack. Oh, I didn't even grab a fork. Oh my god. I'm getting a little bit hungry, but I'm not like hungry enough for a meal. So I just have a snack with some cut up strawberries, some whipped cream, and then I actually broke off a tiny bit of a cookie and just like put it on top. So this is my next little snack. It is 3.07. So now I'm gonna have meal number two, which it doesn't look very good, but I promise it's really, really good. So I made a salmon, like a cold salmon salad, like a chicken salad, but salmon. Um, I put some feta on it. I have some Caesar bolt house dressing and then greens. And then I put a little bit of like salty, crunchy sesame seed type things. 
or sesame stick things and it's gonna be delicious and the salmon is just made with greek yogurt and onion seasoning like the onion seasoning that you use to make onion dip pro tip if you've never put that on everything you should so good and so whenever i'm eating a meal intuitively like whenever i get hungry and i eat my next meal i always go for like in my mind i go for something specific so if i'm craving something salty then i'll make sure that it's like a high protein savory dish and if i know that i haven't had much fats for the day then my next meal i'll make sure to have something like high fat moderate protein or high protein so this is salmon grape yogurt and green so it's really high fat high protein and really low carb no carb essentially so that's my aim and i try to kind of like go back and forth between meals in order to do that you kind of need to have knowledge of your macros and that's what i mean meant by when i said like i know what my body needs by this point i mean macros wise not just like oh i need food but knowing like all right i haven't had any fat today so i'm gonna have some nuts i'm gonna have some salmon blah 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 so that kind of takes practice but a lot of you guys on here have tracked macros for a long time if you haven't you can shoot me an email and we can chat a little bit if that's like the piece you're missing from your diet and exercise you can chat with me about coaching or about programming or anything like that but to everybody else this is kind of the transition into intuitive eating so i'll go more into that on my next meal so good i wanted a little something sweet but not like a big big sweet thing so i just made hot almond milk with a little bit of decaf coffee like half and half and then i put hershey's and barlene's superfood chocolate in it and put whipped cream on top it's so good all right so we finished off the day with two more things with a couple bites of stuff in between but christy made this taco soup that was so good and the way to make taco soup or like any other type of like thicker soup is to just double the amount of meat that's in it and use a lean meat source and then cut down on the, the extra carb parts of them like use a little bit less beans a little bit more meat don't use corn maybe just use the juice of the corn that's what Christy does as well which is it tastes so good so I had that and then a salad and then last meal was this protein bowl this protein smoothie bowl that Brian and I made which was strawberries peaches um, strawberry protein powder and just like random miscellaneous toppings and now I want to eat everything at this moment um, but I'm not hungry so I'm good and I'm gonna just relax and go to bed it's like 8 p.m. so about a 10 hour eating window or so didn't really do it on purpose just ate when I could and ate when I was hungry and then stopped when I was full and yeah that's pretty much it so this was a random full day of eating intuitively eating like a normal person uh, without tracking macros and yeah, this is what I've been doing. So I'll probably do a few more of these just to show you guys what I am eating and how I make my food. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Let me know if you did. If you like videos like this, comment below and I'll keep doing them. But I did want to show you guys what I've been up to with my diet. So this is it. So make sure that you guys like this video if you liked it and hit subscribe if you're new. Welcome to my channel. We will see. I don't know what you guys want in the coming videos do you enjoy training do you enjoy diet do you like lifestyle fun adventure stuff comment below let me know and i will see you guys in